Hello, my name's Helen and I work at the Fitzwilliam Museum in Cambridge and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a collage scarab beetle which is inspired by the arts of ancient Egypt and by the many scarab beetles in the museum's collections. This is what it will look like. It's something that you can hang up, maybe in your bedroom. And it's made out of scraps and bits and bobs, things that you've probably got in your kitchen, these metallic foils, cardboard, things you might have in your recycling box. The ancient Egyptians worshipped the scarab beetle, or dung beetle, and when they watched it rolling a ball of dung into its burrow, it reminded them of the round disk of the sun moving across the sky. The god of the rising sun, Kepri, is often depicted in ancient Egyptian art as a scarab beetle or as a beetle-headed man and he was associated with new beginnings, the new day and resurrection after death, which is why scarabs are often painted onto coffins. This is what you will need for your craft, some cardboard from a cereal packet perhaps, a black pen, stapler, glue, scissors, a little wire tie and a selection of foils and uh, wrappings that are metallic from your kitchen. Try and find something really colourful. Hi, so on to the next part. I've opened out the cereal packet and I've drawn the basic shape of my scarab beetle which I just um, drew down the creases where the cardboard box folded and I did the curve by holding up a dinner plate and drawing around it. I'm going to cut that out. Here's one that I've cut out and I've drawn a very stylized uh, wing shape on it. It's, it's just like a bendy letter Y and then I'm going to cut out the whole thing into three pieces. So on the wing sections I've spread some glue and I've cut out some strips of coloured foil and metallic paper and coloured paper and I'm sticking them on in lines like this, maybe letting them overlap a little bit and definitely overhanging the edge like that. And the reason I'm letting them overhang the edge is that when you've finished and you've covered the whole thing, you can, this sort of idea, see where they're hanging over, you can flip it over like that and trim them off like that. And then you get a nice, neat edge. Can you see? I had to make my husband eat an awful lot of little chocolate eggs to get all this foil. So when you've done them both and they're finished, they will look like that. And the reason I decided to do them in lines is simply that the dung beetle in nature has lines like that on its wings and the ancient Egyptians would copy that, off, especially with jewellery. The um, upper body section, I've drawn on this shape, it's really easy, it's just a curve and it's two little arms coming forwards with hairy spikes on and the head part looks a bit, just look, looks, looks like a teddy bear or something, doesn't it? So it's really easy. And on my one that I made earlier, I decorated that with torn up scraps of black tissue and all the little scraps of metallic. But you could decorate it in any way you wanted, really. It's very easy. And the sun is a circle. I stuck torn up scraps of black behind and then I cut open one of these. I just cut the rim off like this. It's a little foil dish. You might have something similar. Uh, cut it like that. This is really good fun. Cut down to the middle to make the rays of the sun like that. And then I opened it out and stuck it on and I drew round a saucer to get the circle. Then I'll show you what... Hi, so you're ready to finish it off now. Um, you'll have to imagine that I've stuck all the collage onto my pieces of card. Um, I stuck mine onto a piece of black, uh, but if you haven't got black card, don't worry, you can use the other half of your cereal packet. And when I stuck my pieces on, I left a little gap in between the three pieces so that I got a black line because I just thought that would give it a little bit more definition. If you use the natural coloured card you can colour that bit in with a pen if you like. And when I stuck these wing sections on I just stuck them along their top edge here, obviously there at the back, 
um, so that they would stick out slightly at the bottom. I thought that would just look a little bit more realistic. And then I cut out the whole thing once the glue had dried and I left a little gap all around the edge so that it gives it a nice black border which I think just helps it stand out, particularly if you're going to hang it up against a door or something which is often white coloured or pale coloured. And then I made holes here, here and here with a hole punch and join them together with little wire ties or you could use thread or wool and it's all ready to hang up. Uh, so if you have a go at making this craft, I hope you enjoy it and we would love to see pictures of your finished work which you can send into the museum. So I hope I'll be seeing something. Thank you very much and goodbye.